Monday Night Raw recap. Yep. And of course, Justin's not here. He, yeah. he just wanted to take a little break. He just, just didn't want to be in this one today. It's alright. That's alright. You don't have to always be in it. I mean, nah. I wasn't in the last couple, so. Well, it's because he was doing something. Yeah. <laughs> but, it's fun. Yeah. Sometimes I might not even be in it. You yeah. never know. Things happen. I'm the host. So, anyway, what kicked off Monday Night Raw was, um, of Crazy. course, you had all the locker room on the ramp, and then you have security in front of the ring, and then you have Baron Corbin standing in the freaking ring, he's just talking about Survivor Series, and how he has the security around him, and now he's talking about how Shane McMahon, he took it from Ron Dolph to trophy, whatever, and he's going to, when he come, goes from active GM to full GM, he made himself team captain for Raw Survivor Series, oh my god, of course was, he did. I was hoping he would shut up eventually. Yeah. And then, he said his first team members are Dolph and Drew, and then he said Braun Strowman, even though... Braun Strowman's upset with him for what he did at Crown Jewel, but he needs to, Braun, he said Braun needs to respect authority, blah, 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 but that was that, and then he's like, um, woman's team captain, he named, and all of a sudden her music comes, it's Alexa Bliss, couple, toothpick, yay, <laughs> Sasha and everybody's talking like, hey, bless, oh my god, bless, of course, bless, yes. Going on about how you can learn about from her. And yeah, you can learn from her and all that. And she's gonna be watching their oh, matches. Yeah. Really close. Really close. They're gonna be telling. She's gonna be naming her team next week. But she's saying we're we're not gonna lose to the B show. But she made Riot Squad versus. Sasha, Bailey, and Natty for an Evolution rematch. Then she got interrupted by Angle, and Angle's coming out and saying he wants to be in Survivor Series and this and that. So he's like, Why don't it be me and you, Corbin? And if I win, I become team captain of Raw. So, um, I don't want to fire Corbin, of course, this and that. Um, and then, and then Baron Corbin goes, of course you can talk again, Bliss. And then Bliss goes, as I was rudely interrupted, I was about to say, and she says the match, and Braun comes out, and here comes Braun. Oh, man. And Kicks to the face, almost. All to the security, and oh, my God. It was awesome. And I heard Ben Corbin running out of the ring. Like a wuss. Saying he's not afraid of him because he, he said if Braun wants a match, he'll go for a match. But he knows Braun wants to destroy him, so that's why he ran. That's why he ran. So he's a wuss. Like, really? But, um, yeah, that was that. And Natty, Sasha, and Bailey are doing an interview, and Natty says that she dedicates this match. To her dad. When she's wearing his glasses. I don't know if they're really his glasses, but... If they wore that. But... But it's really but, good that she wanted to support her dad. No, yeah, so this match was for her dad. It's the first match. Natty, Sasha, and Bailey versus Riot Squad. Of course, that was a good match. We're coming back and forth, back and forth, all of them. Of course, end up really having no winner because... Ruby took Nanny's the glasses and just sat there and went, oh, broke them. Yeah, she teased her first and then she yep. did what she said, broke them. So that, I, that was heartbroken. Yeah, if that was real, that's better than that. I mean, it's terrible. Like, why would you do that? Do that? That could be the one of a kind. I it's, mean, like, it's like, what would you happen if, if you had something and somebody broke it on you and it meant a lot to you? Like, you know, someone you lost. You know, and they you had it for a long time, and they broke it on you purposely. Yeah. I know she'll be really going after you. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you know, it was that match, and then the next match. 
Wow, well, let's see. The Gender Mahal versus Alpo Cruz. Well, pretty much magic carpet ride. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, because he was on a carpet, so I don't care. It, it, you know, but he still, he was on a carpet, so pretty much they... Yes. Magic carpet ride, it means they were meditating in carpetness. See, that's why. <laughs> but, um, of course, Paul Cruz won. He, um, did his famous move and won. That was probably, like, a two-minute match, two-three-minute match. Was it, it was, like, quick. Yeah. Pretty much, really. It wasn't pretty much, bad. uh, he wrapped him up in his, uh, <laughs> carpet. Yeah. But, um, um... Yep, and then of course you have backstage matches, and of course Braun trying to find uh, do Mac tires, going and wrecking everything, and he goes into like a bathroom. He's knocking down the doors, and then <laughs> one didn't freaking knock, and then he's like, boom, and then one guy's like, and when Braun's like, where's Baron? Ah. <laughs> then he grabbed the one guy, and he said he's gonna get these hands later. Yeah, oh, funny. he's just trying to find them. Um, and then, of course, the Frowlins, burn it down, comes out. He's coming out with the tag team belts and his intercontinental belt. He's saying it's a slap in the face, what Corbin did. Yep. To letting Brock be the champion stuff. Slap in the face, because all that hard work that Roman did and whatnot. So, yep. pretty much. And uh, then Baron Corbin comes on the screen. Yep. Well, then he's talking about Dean Ambrose, saying Ambrose doesn't have the, yeah, to come out and say what he has to do and say. And then, and then he's talking about the fighting. He doesn't know if he could defend the titles, like, one. Right. And then Baron comes on the screen, like she said. Sorry about that. <laughs> Baron says, "No, I think you can. I think you can do it, Seth. You, you just need your partner, and you can defend against these guys tonight." And then that makes AOP versus the Frons for the Raw Tag Titles. AOP pretty much demolished Rollins. I mean, Rollins. He did a couple moves here and there, but of course, um, you're thinking Dean will come out and probably like help him, help him or something, but no, not even a DQ or anything. AOP's the new Raw Tag Team Champs. So, and then after match, here comes Dean. Yep. He's walking, creeping, looking at him in the ring. And he has a microphone in his hand. He's like, look at him. You want to know why I, I did what I did? And he's like, and then Dirty Deeds him and then walks out. People are saying, sell out, sell I mean, you knew it was coming. Yep. You knew it was coming, people. You know Dean's going to be a heel turn. You know it. Mm -hmm. I got a little like Dean. I don't care. Bad good, bad good, the most of it. You know, but that was that. And then the next match. Well, also, when, um, with that, um, Baron what? Corbin's like, because when she was like getting an interview with him, he's like, now, thanks, now you told everybody where I'm at, and then all of a sudden you see Baron. Oh, a yeah. Monster. Oh, man. Very like slamming, like, and he ran. Because he was saying um, you're in a storage unit or something, like in the back. Yeah. <laughs> that was and she's all, she's fucking on the soda. So yeah. that's a lot of soda. Yeah, it was. Holy crap. Well, that's storage. Huh? Where are you going to store it? I don't know. But, um, <laughs> yeah. Um, and then he had the next match, Missy. Dolph Ziggy Wiggy <laughs> versus Elias. Of course. Oh, sorry. Death with Elias. <laughs> <laughs> of course, it was first Dolph Ziggler. He's talking about. I think it was Crown Jewel, right? Yeah. About the tournament. He was saying he could. With he his uh, American bandana. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, Elias comes out. He has his good arm. And then they're like, 
Lion saying? The crowd was saying? They were saying something about walk with the lions or something like that? Yeah, they were singing. But it's more like death with the lions. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, um, but you did say you chose lions over those anyway. Well, yeah. I like them both. They're both equal, but I like Elias more than Z Ziggy but, Ziggy. But, of course, it ends up being that match because Elias walks in and it just ends up being a match. So. But Elias won. He actually beat Dolph Ziggler. It's and crazy. No interruptions. Just won the match. And then, um, then you have a woman match, Nia Jax versus Amber Moon. But before that, it was Ronda Rousey. She was out talking about Becky Lynch. She was talking how Becky told that she's going to rip her arm off. And she said, I like that Becky, that how she has an attitude. But attitude doesn't mean nothing when you're in the ring with me, blah, blah, blah. Yep. I'm the baddest woman ever. So, you can find out what's happened there. And then she got, and then Nia Jax came out and said, hope good for her because she's coming for that title. And then you got Emma Moon coming out with that match. And of course it ended up being Nia Jax with Emma Moon. And then they're having a match, they're having a match and whatnot. And of course Nia Jax wins with the Samoa Drop. And then... After the match, Tapina came out, and we're like, oh boy. What's cousins this? versus cousins? We're, we're, we're like, ooh, is it going to be cousins? going to be cousins? And then, they're staring at each other. Tamina does another Simone drop to Amber Moon, and then they're staring again. Um, And then, Naya tells Tamina, hold her up, hold her up. And she has her, like, in this kind of move, like, submission move with her legs, and she's just elbow dropping her and leg like, dropping her. Yeah, like three times or four times. Yep. And they hugged, and then we're thinking, wait, is this going to be a turn on each other? No, nope. they're standing tall. Yeah. So, those together? Cousin team? Mm-hmm. You know? Maybe it's support. Because of what happened with Roman. Yeah. I mean, they figured, hey, instead of uh, us fighting, let's uh, team up and... Do for our cousin Roman. Yep, next to me. <laughs> Doing something. Yeah. And then next, do we see? Yeah, brother. Bobby frickin' Lashley with <laughs> that little shrimpy Lilo mm. Rush <laughs> versus Finn Balor. Um, of course... My match was back and forth, back and forth. It was good and everything. And of course, Bobby Lashley ends up winning at the end. I mean, I didn't hear Lashley, did you? I don't think I heard him a lot. I don't think he. I think he's listening. It's about being annoying. Pretty much I'm, talking about how he, he's really good. Or yeah, something. he's what just is, really like, good. Showing his muscles, showing muscle like, and yeah, then like, everything that. Like who really? Can. Like he's a good body figure. You can like draw him. Yeah, you can want some of that. I'm like, really? That's really what he's doing now. And then... Of course, and then after that, and then they had a, a little segment with Baron Corbin saying that it's going to be, um, Drew McIntyre's going to replace him because he has to go somewhere. Something important came up. Yeah, something important came up. More like he doesn't want to be around when fucking Braun Strowman's around so he can get attacked. Which, uh, that didn't happen. He was about to come and it gets right to Carl Lee's and Braun's like, Ugh. he's looking at his hands. He's like, Ugh. you know what? He'll get him Monday. <laughs> He'll probably get him next Monday. He'll get him somewhere. He can't run away forever. <laughs> because he is in the Survivor Team match. Yeah. And that leads to the main event. Drew McIntyre versus Kurt Angle. If Angle wins, he's the captain of Raw team. Mm -hmm. The match actually was doing pretty good. Um, Angle had some few matches, and of course Drew, he's teasing him in the match. He's like, "You're a, what does he say? You're a, you're an embarrassment." Yeah, you're an embarrassment. Yeah, you're embarrassment of to us. Blah blah blah. And then he's get fired up. He's pounding butt. And then mm -hmm. he um hat got him in the ankle lock. Yeah, ankle lock. And he was about to tap, but he was in, he didn't tap. He stopped. Drew did the angle slam to angle. And then 
he went, he did his um ankle lock to angle and angle stretch so hard not to tap so hard not to tap yeah. and he tapped to his own move so yeah there's no other place where he would have could have gone could have went no i mean if i had said anything with this monday night roll i mean it was just pretty much crazy, and and it's you know how Dean didn't well. Well, it's good to see him, you know. Well, game of dirty deeds, but it's bites on his own old team buddy. Yeah, but um, yeah. Well, what did you think of Raw? What did, what was your favorite part? Did you like Braun Strowman? <laughs> you like Braun Strowman? <laughs> when he did, did another. Do little... you like how AOP's the new tag champs? Do you like Dean being heel? Do you don't like Dean being heel? Um, what else? Um, it's kind of like after because Braun took down Kevin Owens in the toilet. Now it's time he's going after Baron Corbin. Yeah, <laughs> hey, that'd be awesome to see him in the toilet. Do you like Baron Corbin? No, I don't. No. Um, but yeah, let us know. What did you like about it? Um, mm. I mean, I thought it was okay. It was only okay to me. It was alright. I mean, but it could go a little better. But, um. Could do a little better after Crown Jewel. Yeah, so, um. Just let us know. And make sure you like, comment, subscribe, subscribe. And we'll see you then. Bye! Bye.